All right, it's Wednesday, August 9th. That means it is way in Wednesday. It's time to see what's going on. 428 even. All right, so that is a loss of 3.2 pounds for this week. I'm pretty happy with that number, especially considering the move and the keto pizza did not cause any sort of stalls from what I can tell. So, uh, Blaze Pizza... Keto crust, that's probably going to go into the regular rotation when I go out to eat. For the most part, I just want to cook in and try to save money. Because those pizzas can be kind of expensive depending. I think without coupons and all that stuff, which I had, uh, they, they come around like $15 per pizza, which is <laughs> three times as much as uh, Little Caesars, but they actually have keto crust. So, um if, if you have a Blaze Pizza around you, I, I would recommend that. It, it was tasty. It was good. I, I like it. <laughs> and um, I know there's one other pizza place in town uh, that has a keto crust or a low-carb crust. I think it's made of chicken. Um, it's uh, A-Zip Pizza. Uh, if, if you have one of those near you, I think they're like a relatively small chain. But uh, 3.2 down for the week. Um, I am in the 420s now. <laughs> Snooch. <laughs> um, I, I'm looking forward to being out of the 420s and into the teens, uh, hopefully within the next two weeks, just kind of based off of, uh, this, uh, like, I've been losing, like, either two to three or six to eight. <laughs> it kind of seems like it rotates each week. So theoretically, this week should be like a seven or eight week, <laughs> if that's the way it's going. Um, which, you know, I'm fine with it. I, like, I know that I, like, personally, I want to lose this weight fast. Uh, and I want to be out of the 400s. I want to be done with it. Like, and not done with it, because I know it's going to be, like, a lifelong thing. But at the same time, like, what I really want is to be, like, out of the 400s and then under 350, because I haven't been under 350 since I was, like... 20. <laughs> um, so I really want to be back under where I was in my 20s and then my goals from there get kind of smaller because uh, like I want to be able to uh, fit in the marching band uniform from high school that I have in my closet. Uh, I want to be able to wear clothes that are smaller than the clothes that I wore in high school. So I think I was wearing like a size, I think, 42 pants and uh, like a 2 to 3x t-shirt back then. Uh, so if I can get down to like an extra large t-shirt and like a size 38 to 40 jeans, then I'll like that. Like I'm happy with that. Like that's smaller than I was in high school and like amazing. <laughs> um, and then from there, you know, just just keep going. Just keep doing what I'm doing and seeing what works, what doesn't. And then, you know, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> this time I, I've got a mindset that's going to be able to keep that going. Um, I, I think I do. Uh, right now I'm doing good. Uh, I haven't really been inclined to like cheat or do anything like super duper crazy. And you know, even if I have been tempted to do that, I haven't done it. Um, the closest I've gotten is eating, like, you know, the, the keto pizza, which has a lot of carbs uh, once you start tacking on the toppings. But the crust itself is six net carbs for the whole thing. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> so um, this past week it has been crazy. <laughs> it's been a crazy week. Um, because I was living at the camp for that week, uh, from Monday afternoon to Friday morning, basically. Uh, if you saw the vlog video that I did, it was the first time I've ever made one of those. I had fun doing it. Uh, but I lived at the camp for, you know, several days. And then, uh, after that Friday morning, I started moving into my new apartment, which is, uh, where I am right now. <laughs> um, uh, currently, I'm in the studio room that I've started to make for myself. Uh, I've, I've got all my cool things back there. Um, so I'm still in the process of setting that up. Uh, maybe I'll show you around at some point. 
Uh, it has a pool, so I mean, even though summer is about over, hopefully I'll be able to jump down there and swim, get some exercise in that way for at least, you know, three, four weeks, depending on what the temperature is and whether they decide to close it on Labor Day, which is coming up quicker than I really mentally think. Um, we're already like over halfway through the year, um, as, as far as that type of you know, the calendar stuff goes. Uh, so we're slowly reaching into the area of the year where things get hard for most people that are dieting because you have like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Halloween with all the candy and like all this stuff. Um, I've been through it before. I've, I've done this before. <laughs> so for me, like, I know what I'm getting into, I know what I'm, what I need to mentally prepare for, and as of right now, with it being August, I've got several months to, like, come up with recipe ideas and plans and doing my own thing, uh, because I don't really have a lot of people that I'd be inviting over to do anything. Um, my, my friend group has shrunk so much. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I have friends and I love my friends and they're great but I feel like and I this video is going in a direction that I didn't expect it to but like I don't socialize nearly as much as I used to uh, pre pre pandemic pre covid um and even during slash post like you know with the right people and hanging out and making sure that you know you're being safe and whatnot uh, but then, like, once the, the split up happened, um, I had to completely separate myself from, like, all the things that I normally would do. Because um, I'd had a job for the past 10 years that I kept consistently. It was the same job. It didn't pay very well, uh, but I, I enjoyed it. It was working in social work, doing stuff for people with developmental disabilities. And I did that for 10 years. And once the, the split up happened and I was living by myself officially, I looked at those numbers and that budget and I was like, there's just no way. <laughs> so I had to uh, stop and take a completely different job. And the job that I took was working at a jail. I became a correctional officer. <laughs> uh, not the direction I ever expected my life to go, uh, but... That is what I did for a year. I, I worked in corrections. I saw way more than I ever wanted to see as far as, you know, stuff goes. Um, I had to stop people from, you know, trying to, you know, off each other, off themselves. Just, there's so many things. <laughs> don't go to jail, people. Don't, don't go to jail. It's bad. It sucks. Um, it was overcrowded, people were sleeping on the floors, everybody was always mad, you know, and you're, you're one person in a room, well, typically two to three people, deputies in a room with 30 to 40 people that do not like you, <laughs> would actively want to harm you if any reason was given. So, uh, it was a very, very high stress year, uh, for me, and eventually... I finally moved on from that and uh, started working at a hospital, so kind of the opposite of a jail. <laughs> um, working at a hospital, working in radiology, um, doing uh, scheduling, so right now I just talk to people eight hours a day going, thank you for calling, blah blah blah, what do you want? <laughs> and I, I, it's not a bad job, <laughs> but it is mentally exhausting <laughs> to do that. Eight hours a day, five days a week. I just, I mentally, like, with between that and, like, other relationships that I've had, because don't even get me started on that, uh, and just the jail and doing all this, like, I have been mentally just tapped for a long time, it seems like. And uh, I have not been able to have a social life. That's where my tangent was going. I haven't had a social life, uh, really, since working at the jail, because the jail was consistently understaffed, and they would very often um, keep us in the building after our shift was over until somebody volunteered to stay just four more hours. Um, and then, 
you know, there would be days where you'd get called in on your one day off a week. So there was times I'd work seven straight days a week into the next, like, six days a week and have one day off where I get to sleep and catch up. It sucked. <laughs> I I can't say that I would ever recommend working at a jail. Uh, but because of that, my social life went to garbage. I wasn't able to hang out with friends. I wasn't able to do anything other than basically just come home and sleep. And I lost contact with a lot of people. I stopped actively trying to talk to people because there just didn't seem like there was that much of a point. Because I would never be able to hang out with them as long as I was working at the jail. Uh, fun story, when Ghostbusters Afterlife came out, which I had been waiting for like 20 years to see a new Ghostbusters movie that was a continuance of the original story, um, I, my alarm's going off again, um, I, I had to like argue and fight for a day off to be able to go see that movie in IMAX in Nashville. Um, it shouldn't have been that difficult. I had to, like, trade shifts with people, try to convince people to just take this one day. And I had plenty of vacation time because I'd never taken one. I'd never taken a single day off at that place. And realistically, I had worked more than enough hours to justify a break. But when you're short-staffed, you know, you, you got to deal with the, all the problems. Um, so I had to, like, fight for just a day off. Um, the only time I had any stretch of actual time off was when I got COVID. And even then, they still wanted me to try and come in earlier than I was really supposed to. They they relented and they let me take that time off because the doctor said so. But, you know, I feel like if it was up to them, I would have been working anyway. And that sucks. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't ever want to work there again. <laughs> um, but... Long, long tangents aside, um, this week, been a difficult week. Hopefully, the weeks following are going to be better. Just better for life, better for being able to, like, calm down a little bit. And hopefully, um, I'm going to be out of the 400s very soon. So, if you watched all the way to the end of this very, very long video, I appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to take a glimpse into my rambling life, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!